Have you heard the latest laws our government have passed to make protesting harder? The police, crime, sentencing and courts bill is wide ranging. Police would be able to put more conditions on protests, including setting noise and time limits. Failure to comply could result in a fine up to £2,500. Basically, the government have changed the law, so now, if you protest, you can't make a noise. How does that work? <laughs> what do we want? To be, to be heard. <laughs> it's not. When you're angry, you make noise. When they threw Edward Colton in the Bristol Harbour, they didn't put toilet paper down to muffle the sound. <laughs> like you might have turned. <laughs> if they ban noise, all will be left with is placards. And they could be a little bit tame. <laughs> <laughs> also, why are they using police to monitor sound levels? They don't have great ears. I mean, they didn't hear Boris's lockdown parties and they're outside his fucking house. <laughs> So why did they pass the law? Well, mainly, it was to shut this guy up. Stop Brexit! Stop! Last time MPs voted Brexit! on this... We had, we had talks... Brexit! If we leave, it will be delightful that this idiot will shut up. <laughs> so, did the no-shouting law stop him? Nope. He found a loophole. We need to make sure that we keep the basic functions of government going. Uh, that's really important. Get behind this trust and um, quasi quartan. So it's politically ideological, but how do you unpick what is. Bye! Fuck off, loser! Bye! Now, don't. Don't get me wrong. Some protesters are a bit annoying, like climate change, for example. We all agree we need to save the planet, but the way some of them protest makes people who agree with their cause want to burn tires. <laughs> they blocked traffic, drunk oil, poured milk over cheese. One bloke glued his face to the road. Do you regret the, the gluing? Are you... Um, yeah, it's, it's not one of my better moves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you read stuff like this, it blows your mind. Extinction Rebellion founder is willing to block ambulances with dying patients. You're angering people that support your cause. You can't piss people off and get what you want. It's like those blokes that wear those T-shirts. It's not going to suck itself. <laughs> it's going to have to, Darren. <laughs> You're not going to trick him into a blowy, but... However disruptive it is, protest is vital. Black Lives Matter highlighted racial inequality. Greta Thunberg put climate change on the G20 agenda. And in 2014, Ukrainian protesters ousted the corrupt government. Protest is important. Women are able to vote because of protests. But here is what's fascinating. When the suffragettes were fighting for the vote, people made posters suggesting that if women could vote, they'd end up looking like this. <laughs> there were even suggestions they might turn into Alan Partridge. <laughs> and here's another incredible fact. There were even women who were against the suffragettes. Imagine fighting against your own freedom. What do we want? Less. <laughs> I'm a silly little woman. I don't need that power. <laughs> Not only does protest change things for the better, it can also be pretty funny. Who could forget this song about our former prime minister? When a law was announced to crack down on pornography, how did people protest? By sitting on each other's faces. <laughs> In fairness, they were quiet. What I'm trying... <laughs> What I'm trying, <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Some protests are amazing, others not so much. Sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're offensive, but all of them matter, and this is why. On September the 13th, Massa Amini was beaten to death by Iran's morality police for wearing a hijab incorrectly. Since then, millions of Iranians have protested day and night. They've been beaten, arrested. More than 140 people, including children, have been killed standing up for the right of women to express themselves. Women like freedom! Women like freedom! 
Mahsa's tragic death is becoming a turning point for Iranian women. Be bold, brave, uncompromising. Women are tired of being second-class citizens. And now, this is a revolution. Sometimes the only way to make change is by standing up for what's right in the face of a government that's wrong. And to do that, you need your fucking voice to be heard.